got a video on this pair of beetles out in the desert, Las Vegas, and well, same spot as the Suburban. We actually haven't even torn into the, the Cheyenne Super. It's named Emma. And a guy came by to buy these. I was actually asking on them too, but she already had somebody on the way. $800 for the pair. Unbelievable, right? You get these crusty old desert beetles. And so I figured, uh, He's actually, he got them for his brother, and the guy might need some help loading them up, he said. And I figured it'd be a good time to maybe do a walk around tour, tell their story. These have been on the property since 96. This one was running, I think, up until like 99, she said, until somebody stole the carburetor on it. Right out on her inner uh, driveway, somebody ganked the carburetor, and, and that was that. But this looks like it's got, oh, well, they're not straight pipes, it does have mufflers, but she said, oh, well. How are you doing today? Good. You excited for the, the Cheyenne Super? Yeah, actually. Oh, we can't wait to tear into this beauty. Of course, that's a, a different video, but that might be getting us. That's our ride back to Pennsylvania. So anyway, just doing an offshoot on these because I think they're really cool. So let's let's uh, jump in. Wow. You got to love these crusty desert cars. I don't know. I know it's just like, why would you like that? But it's uh got a four speed in it yep and why why would you like it i i love it because it reminds me of, of movies yeah so i'm not gonna waste a ton of time on these but she said on one of these she they would drive them out on the what did she didn't she say she was shooting is that top open oh yeah yeah she said she's yeah, she said they would open the top and be hunting with, this was her hunting rig essentially. Uh, I don't know how legal it is to go cruise around and shoot, I guess it depends on your state. Pop in this side real quick. And so, so the guy buying these, he actually has a custom uh, buggy. He's doing no title. He wants to put it on the street though. So both of these obviously have a, a clear title, which is very awesome for 800 bucks. That almost looks like a performance shot. Oh, it's got a Hearst shifter in his one. Heck yeah, that's probably worth some coin alone would be my guess. Look at these seats. Babe, come check out the seats in this one. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Tell me that's not desert rotted. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like it really just trashes the interiors, but check it out. Oh yeah, you ever see a, a beetle with no rust holes? I haven't. Everything our way. And so this must be, I think the guy was saying that, yeah, this is 67 and below because it's got the five lugs on it still. Those are so heavy duty looking. Uh, anyway, I guess I shouldn't waste too much time on these because we got to get working, get that thing roadworthy. Uh, but when his brother shows up to pick him up, we'll uh, get some more info, help him out loading and such. What do you think, Gus, man? You like the desert? He says, no, there's no grass. This place sucks. <laughs> we'll get you back to the grass, buddy. Or some, some fake grass. A few hours later, we got Steve and John. John, you're the proud new owner of these, right? Yep. Yeah, so what's your plan with you? You're going to get this one running or what's... Uh... Well, yeah, I got a couple more at the house and I build off-road bajas. It's uh -oh. something I do now that I don't work no more. Uh -oh. A few of the tires took air. She's rolling good. That desert dry rot about to blow out in my face. Yeah, I just put a tire and put, it, put a tube in it. That thing's got another 20,000 miles on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, perfection right there. Did even scrape. That's it, the Badlands ZXR 12,000, getting it done. Yeah, I think I got it all done up here. Yep, this is it. Oh yeah, that ain't going nowhere. Nope. Went to hold it down. I got it chained on the back. Good to go. All right, probably see you later when you're grab you grabbing the other today or? or Either today or tomorrow. Cool. Right, we'll probably see you. I'm sure we'll still be working on this hunk, so.